so it's occurred to me that um, there's a lot of people out there that don't know what to do with uh, RAR files and 7-zip files or what they are. Uh, so here's a quick explanation. Um, what they are are just compressed versions of the file that you are trying to download. Um, why sites do this is to uh, make it easier for them to uh, distribute their files uh, to the user. Um, it's like taking a really, really big file and putting it in a really, really small box. Plain and simple. And it, and it goes without saying that downloading a small file goes a lot faster than downloading a big file. So, um, to show you an example here, I've got uh, WinDS Pro version 14. Um, regularly, it is 20.2 megabytes. Compressed in, into a zip file, it is 19.7. Into a RAR file, it is 17.5. Into a 7-zip file, it is 14.5. So as you can see, it varies. 7-zip would probably be the best um, archiving format. Now, I want to show you um, three utilities here that I use. Installing just one of these will allow you to unpack and pack RAR files and 7-zip files, among others. Okay, so the first one is WinRAR. WinRAR isn't free. Um, it's got a 40-day trial. Um, it's got a boatload of features. You can uh, does a bunch of the formats you can archive in, and I mean it's really cool if you want to, you know, like compress a lot of things. Um, but if all you want to do is unpack RAR files or unpack compressed files, period, you can use it completely free in evaluation mode. Um, if you do want to package a file, let's take the uh, a WinDS Pro setup, for instance, drag it into the window, you only have two options for the archive format, RAR and ZIP. And there's a bunch of other options here and tabs that um, I really haven't looked into, um, but I mostly use WinRAR to uh, unpack my RAR files. So yeah, that is WinRAR. And again, it is completely free if all you're doing is unpacking RAR files or creating RAR files. Next up is 7-ZIP. Um, pretty sure you've heard of it. Um, if not, uh, it is the, the uh, more popular one of the bunch. Um, it is 100% free. Um, you can uh, you can unpack RAR files and 7-zip files, um, among others. Again, uh, if you want to compress a file, let's take the the WinDS Pro setup for instance. Drag it in the window. Um, changing the archive format right here. You have five options. I haven't messed around with the other ones again. Um, I'm sure there's a better one than 7-Zip, but 7-Zip so far has um, been the best compression for me. Um, and there's a bunch of other options here you can change if you feel necessary. So that is 7-Zip. Uh, Next one up is uh, P-Zip, which is the one that I use mostly, um, just because it's got a lot more options. Now, if you want to compress a file, I've noticed that um, you can't just drag the file into the window. You have to drag the file over the icon, like so. And there you have it. Um, from here, if you click the Options tab, you can change the archive format from here. You've got quite a few choices to choose from. Um, one really cool feature, and which is why I use uh, a 7-zip more often, is because you can create um, self-extracting. You can create a self-extracting archive, sorry about that. Um, and like the title says, um, it will extract itself. So double-clicking the file will uh, prompt you to, um, to choose where you want to unpack it. And that is pzip. So once again, installing just one of these uh, uh, programs will allow you to unpack and pack raw files, 7-zip files, and regular zip files, among others. So I hope that helps and answers your roar and compression questions.